Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another exciting reading vlog. It's been a long time since I've done one and I feel like it's about time because the weather is like really wintry right now. Like we're actually having a proper winter in Canada. So I figured let's pick up a book and that happens to be the next book in the Harry Potter series, which is the Chamber of Secrets. Now, for those who don't know, I am actually reading Harry Potter for the very first time. Don't worry. I have watched the movies, so I know everything that technically goes on. It's just the nitty gritty details that obviously are missed out on in the movie from adapting it from the book. That being said, I have read the first book of over like a year and a half ago, and these books are not mine. They're actually my cousin's that she has, and so she has lent me the entire box set and I still have yet to finish it. So in order for me to give it back to her, I should probably read this ASAP. By this point, I've actually already read the book, but I'm gonna obviously show you my reaction. It's going to be spoiler filled, but honestly, like who hasn't watched Harry Potter or even read it at this point? So, you know, proceed at your own risk if you have not read it. I do highly recommend reading it though. Like it is, it is like really amazing, but I honestly did enjoy it a lot. And I just want to share that experience with you. So let's continue. update i cannot get through this book it's nothing to do with the actual book itself it's literally just my mood i just don't want to read this right now i don't know i think i've just been reading a lot of fantasy lately it's just too much i need to break out of it and one of my like biggest tips for getting out of that kind of reading slump is just read something completely different something from an entirely different genre and it actually really helps break you out of that funk that you're in. Now, because I've been hoarding this book for so long and I have never read it, I'm going to read Between Two Kingdoms by Sulika Jod. And I'm interested because it's probably like the first memoir I'm actually reading by someone. And apparently it's Heather's pick. Okay, chapter update of Harry Potter now. So I'm on chapter 8, page 128. Um, it's getting better. I know I said it was going slowly for me, but I feel like if I just keep with it and just consistently read it today, I'll finish it. That's just all I want to do, just finish this book. But essentially what happened in the past two chapters is um, obviously Hermione was called a mudblood. It's one of the sad, it's really a sad part. Like, ah. Uh, children draco is just an ass i think we all know that but he's definitely a troubled young man let's be real his father even more so but uh, we all know that already anyway so that's just kind of a thing i just love the bond the three of them harry ron and hermione share with um hagrid it's something so special and just something i love to see in all the books and even all the movies but what we got at the very end of this chapter was essentially Harry starting to hear the whisperings of like someone's voice and when he asked Lockhart about it because he was doing detention with him signing his fan mail <laughs> it's really ridiculous um he asked him like did you hear that too because someone was speaking but he said no I couldn't hear it and then he told Ron about it he's like why would someone not hear it that's just weird but obviously for those of us who have watched the movies or have read the books at this point we know it's the basilisk I believe like slithering through the halls speaking in partial tongue and obviously Harry being able to understand it he's the only one who could really hear it I guess that's like what I'm thinking what's going on just because I feel like more details are in the books that I just haven't gotten in the movies but I'm excited to see where it goes even though I know where it goes which is underground <laughs> with Lockhart okay I'm not gonna spoil anything okay let's keep going Chapter 
13 of Harry Potter. I had to update here just because I kind of forgot to when I was reading it initially. So basically where we're at at this point is Hermione got admitted into the hospital just because she was like paralyzed by the basilisks, you know, attack. And then all the other students were getting attacked. So they decided to um, permit all these rules and like curfews for the students just to help with their safety, just because all these things are going on. Um, we also learned that Malfoy is not the heir of Slytherin, but like you could already tell if you watch the movie. For me, it's just an enlightening experience just to see how the book compares to the movies. And it's interesting because you would expect, I think from watching it, that the book would be much thicker just because the movie is so long. But it's interesting, like majority of the details in this is like exactly replicated in the movie, but obviously there's like a few details here and there that are missing. Oh, I forgot. There was a really funny part, I think, where they were doing like the whole dueling matches with Snape and Lockhart. And it was just so funny because Lockhart comes up to instruct the students and he's like, I'm here today with my assistant, Professor Snape. And it was just seeing Snape's reaction. It's like the most hilarious thing ever. So I love that part. So let's continue. So we have just reached the part of the book of chapter... I almost forgot the name. Hold on a second. So it's chapter 16 called The Chamber of Secrets, page 299. So at this point, we basically learned that Hermione basically solved everything without telling Harry and Ron. But obviously she couldn't because she was paralyzed. So it was interesting. So they basically solved it all on their own. They went to go see Aragog, the infamous spider. So because... Hagrid was taken away because he was charged with the so-called killings or paralyzations of the students just because it was known in the past that he had a bad record and so they kind of assumed that because of that he was linked to the murders now. Now obviously that's not the case but they wanted to go see the spiders to kind of confirm this and it was literally not the best thing. I, I don't like spiders either. So I'm like Ron in this case where I like am super squeamish and just don't like them at all. Other things is that we got to the part where they figured out where the chamber is literally in the bathroom of the girls restroom and Moaning Myrtle kind of just gave it away. She's just like I died when I looked over at that mirror and saw eyes looking at me. I was like oh there you go. It's just so interesting how the movie really captured all those nitty and like tiny details, especially with the engraving of the snake on the little faucet and just things like that. So I think it did really well in terms of adapting it and I just really liked it. So let's just finish the book and then I'll finally update you on my thoughts and whatever. I finally finished Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets so honestly I thought it was a really good book for me it's hard to say what my rating is but tentatively I'm gonna say four stars just because I think in the beginning when I read it it was a little slow but that's just more because of me I just wasn't in the mood to read at the time but literally it was kind of funny over the past few days I've been taking this book with me on my commute to school and so I've been reading it like non-stop on the journey and so I plowed through this book because of it so I'm glad and it actually went by a lot better. So I actually really liked it. I found like all the details were really helpful. It was engaging. 
you know, I just love the whole atmosphere of Hogwarts. I mean, who doesn't at this point? There's not a person who doesn't know the name Harry Potter. And it's just the adventures the three of them, Harry, Hermione, and Ron go on. And just seeing, you know, Ron and Hermione especially shine through in their own moments is really cute to see. Not a fan of the spiders, though. That's why I never really liked this movie too much, even though I do like it. The spiders, no one likes. But I think my favorite part of the book just has to be when Harry freed Dobby. And I felt like they did that a lot better in the movie just because it was more inconspicuous when Harry handed the diary back to Malfoy, Lucius, and then Lucius just unknowingly just gave it to Dobby and Dobby opened it up and there's a sock in there and he freed him. So I love that part. And just, you know, the adventures and just like the feasts they have and the decorations, everything's just really good. So I will continue this series. I don't know when, but I will. Thank you so much for watching this video and let me know how you feel about the series or this book in general and i'll see you in my next one